money. Thanks. I like the way y'all work today. In and out. And we right back at it tomorrow. Is he gonna weigh in? Yeah, that's what he's doing there. All, all them back there, seeing what they cut. Break past that number, I'm happy. Okay. All right, I can go for that. <laughs> I'm good. Yes, Russ! We still going down, Russ! <laughs> It's probably one of my best caps. Back home training with my brothers, um, Brown. What y'all think about Tank Davis at this point in time in his career? I like him. I'm a supporter. Also like that he's getting louder and better on the microphone. Now, he already got social media on lock. Well, not on lock, but what I'm saying is he got it, he got it down, meaning he knows how to sell himself on social media, especially Twitter. On T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live. This Saturday, two days, 20 hours away, Javante Tank Davis is going to be taking on Ricardo Nunez on Showtime. 21 and 2 with 19 KOs. He's 25 years old from Panama. He lost his second fight, and then his. He lost his first fight, and then the second fight he lost was four years ago, yesterday, a couple days ago. So he is on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fight winning streak. And basically, we know not really much about him, except he hasn't fought in the United States before. At all. This is his first fight here. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Um, you know, remember, we were supposed to get Tank Davis versus Abner Mavers earlier this year but hugo diaz had to step in so now his 2019 is hugo diaz ricardo nunez and they're talking about the winner of tank davis versus ricardo nunez if it's tank davis fighting the winner of york is gamboa versus roman rocky martinez which is the co-feature by the way and yes now of course these are going to be fun fights but you have to ask yourself, man, what's going on with Showtime? The co-feature is Yorkis Gamboa versus Roman Rocky Martinez. Do so you hear what I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen? And let's not forget, on the same day, IBF 130-pound champion Tevin Former is fighting over on the zone against Guillermo Fuenoy. That's a video I'm doing next on that undercard and that card. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. By the way, this is called The Rise. Um, Javante Davis Part 1, Davis versus Nunez. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a jump cut. And I'm going to watch Part 2 of this, which is on... This is at the end right here, which is on the um, Showtime YouTube page. And we're going to talk a little bit more. So Pacquiao Thurman was last week... Now things are, you know, I guess you could say calming down a little bit. Not too really, not too many really significant high profile fights, like super high profile. I mean, it's some good, you know, like cards. And since Canelo's not fighting in September, you wonder who's Golovkin going to fight. I guess that's going to be the next high profile, like really super high profile, you know. Nonetheless, I still got a job to do. So Saturday, I'm going to be here covering all these fights. I tell you what, let's take that jump cut right now. And then we're going to talk more about the card. You know, um, Javonta Tank Davis and the 130-pound division. I'm T-Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. Everything that you get in the gym, I actually seen it. Because with Javonta, I had him on the road. And I was like, get out of there. And then I looked at it. I said, oh, that's the drill he did with the kids. And he looked at me. I said, oh, we good. <laughs> First round, it was good. But the second round, I was hitting him with shots that I normally knock people out with. And he was just walking through them. I told my coach, I said, I'm in a title fight. And I know it. The, the game plan was to break Pedraza down. Hit him with, with body shots. And hit him with shots he'd never been hit before. And then close out the that was an excellent performance at the time, especially for his age. Excellent performance. But now, you know, people want him to step up. So, for example, right, um, this is part two, by the way. I'm only two minutes in. We're probably going to take one more jump cut before I finish out this video. So now the question is, like, listen, I don't like giving young fighters too much shit. He's 24 now, though. 
You know, and it's really time for him to start stepping up competition, even though this is going to be a three fight 2019 for him, as he did promise. Remember, he fought Hugo um, uh, Ruiz in um, in uh, February. That was supposed to be Abner Maris. Now he's going to fight. He's fighting in July this weekend. And, um, you know, he can fight again later on this year. But against who? Will they revisit Abner Maris? Or will they go for Yurikis Gamboa versus Roman Rocky Martinez winner? I mean, I already have it in my head that him and Tevin Former are never going to fight. And as you can see, the WBA at 130 pounds is a mess. Do you see this? Tank Davis, WBA Super World Champion. Andrew Conceal, WBA World Champion. Jojo Diaz, WBA Gold Champion. Rene Alvarado, the mandatory to... Andre uh, Concio, but Andre Concio is not the mandatory to Javante Davis. Ricardo Nunez is Javante Davis's mandatory. So what the fuck is JoJo D? It's weird, WBA. You make me suck. You sucking me. Every time I look at their rankings and their shit, I just get sick. I forgot who they say Jamil Hearing is going to fight next. Jojo Diaz really wants Tevin Former, and I think that that's the fight that needs to be made next if Tevin Former beats Guillermo Fenoy, Fenoy, who's fighting this weekend, as I said, on the undercard of, um, and they both, well, Tank Davis has already said or posted on his social media that he's going to call out Tevin Former in his post-fight interview. Tevin Former, in his post-fight interviews, to his credit, has been calling out Tank Davis. They have a long history. At one point in time, the fight was supposed to happen, am I correct? But Tevin Former turned it down because he said something along the lines, tell me if I'm wrong, that he didn't want to accept nothing from Floyd Mayweather or whatever, or maybe the deal wasn't right. I don't know. I don't know the full details. So from an activity standpoint, Dev Tevin Former is doing very good. From a quality of competition, it's like, all right, bro, it's time to step that shit up. But when you really look at it with this political landscape, you know, Tevin Former has more options than Javante Davis, really. Unless Javante Davis goes to another division or a guy like Gary Russell moves up. You know? And Javante Davis at 135, well, let's just say that's Loma City. Jamel Herring, I forgot who they said he was going to fight, but his mandatory is supposed to be um, Lamont Roach. Him and um, and uh, Terrence Crawford's supposed to share a card coming up. I think, right? Terrence Crawford's card? And you got Miguel Burcho. Well, we see Jamel Herring versus Miguel Burcho. They're both under the same banner. Hmm. So, looking at the card... You got Ronald Gavro who's returning. Remember his two fights with David Benavidez. Ladarius Miller versus Jezreel Corrales. We haven't really seen Jezreel Corrales in, since he lost to uh, Machado, even though he's had one fight in between down in Panama. Jason Vles, you know, Richardson, Richardson Hitchens is on the card. Emmanuel Leem. I mean, you know, it's, you know. I'm going to be covering these fights, though, along with the fights that are on the zone that's going to be on at the same time. Showtime and the zone are going to be competing. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. The show before the eighth round with Tank. I think Tank did it in the seventh round. Make, make him work hard early in the fight. So we, we towards the end, we would get him. And take your time. We got 12 rounds here. Yeah? Commit to that body, baby. That body yeah, is the key. Keep hold up. You notice when you hit him in the body, he froze. Do you understand? Oh, man. He put it together that night. He put it together. When we come in here and work, we go through it.